Why, hello there, people. What's going on? My name is Big Moon, and this here is episode number four of the Battlefield Top Place. And once again, we're just gonna get right into things. Let's go. First up this week here, we have Psy Retributor, I think so. I was supposed to say that, and he's playing some Dust Bowl on Battlefield Hardline using the RPG-7, just looking around at some targets, seeing who's going to get the nomination to get born to smithereens. The van gets it, and he gets himself a quintuple kill. That's how we start, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to go up towards the E car here, but unfortunately, it's just driving away, so he's just going to turn around and see this helicopter slowly approaching, trying to get in a little bit of an air battle with his helicopter, and in the process, he takes it down with the RPG-7, getting himself two kills that time before moving off towards this road looking for some more people coming towards him this time and the D objective gets the grenade perfectly timed and with the combo with the 40mm grenade launcher he takes down that enemy car getting himself three kills in that one swift move there now he has to turn his attention back up the hill take down one last guy using the M67 frag and some shots there with his MPX and uh, well that's pretty much the clip over very very nice way to start off the episode let's move on Staying on Dust Bowl on Battlefield Hardline, we have Wizard. I think you're supposed to say it like that if it's spelled like that, I don't fucking know. But he has a Scout Elite sniper rifle, he's on top of this petrol station, and he's just going to be taking some pot shots at some enemy players already, taking down two, possibly three people already, and there's a few very nice shots in this one little streak just here, taking one guy down there as he was driving away on the motorbike, and this shot just here, just quick reactions, he takes the guy out as he's jumping through the air. Very nice kill, was good sir. Clip number three, we have Juwineros. I think. People, you have such weird names, you really do. He's playing an Operation Metro, he has an SUAV flying it all the way up and around. He flies out the front door, turns it back around, spotting a few enemies, he's gonna come swooping back in for one last strafing run. He's just got his sights on quite a number of enemies. He gets himself three of them in a one go. Club number four. Again, another name, Ank E Avast. I don't, I don't fucking know. But I've never seen anyone do this before. This is new. This is definitely new. I mean, I get sent a shit ton of Rende Zooks, but this is something a little bit different. He does it a second time here flying upside down, he gets his RPG at the ready, in this case here a Shraw, and he takes down another one. That's, that's, that's pretty ridiculous, and I've never seen anyone do that before. He does get suicide in this one here though, and I love how confused the guy is by it. <laughs> Next up today here, we have Silent Maniacs, and he's playing some downtown conquest on Battlefield Hardline. Up in one of the skyscrapers, there's a whole bunch of enemies spawning on the sea flag here, and he's already taken down two guys upon approach there as they were coming out of the lifts, and as he moves around this side, there's one guy just hiding behind that little corner and burns him to death with the incendiary grenade before taking down his friend with the M45 SMG. It's an SMG, right? It's a fucking weird looking gun, but he takes down another three, possibly four actually, enemies as they came out of the lifts there using another incendiary grenade, taking down another two there with the M45, and uh, well, he, he just killed so many people so quickly there that everything just sort of stopped. Another bunch of guys coming out of the left, he takes one more down, there's a guy just peeking around a corner, takes him down for chucking a grenade inside the left as it closes, sealing that guy's fate, and ending a very, very tidy little kill streak there, good sir. Club number six, we have Nomad Gaming. And I just want to feature this one, it's just a very nice deliberate shot, as opposed to the random lucky shit that you do see sometimes. So he's playing here on Caspian Borders in a T-90 tank, lines up the enemy helicopter that must be miles away. I mean, this shot is in the air for so long, and he takes down both of the guys, of course, in the helicopter with a very nice display of accuracy there. It may have been very lucky, it probably was really lucky, but... Very nice shot, but I'm just going to include two for one in this little slot here with Zooman92 coming up next here and again a very very nice shot as he's sitting in the water, he takes a guy's head off with a 44 Magnum at that range, not easy to do. Our next player today is JK401, that, that's actually a Scottish word. JK, and I doubt this guy is a JK, or else he wouldn't be playing Battlefield. He'd be 
too fucking steaming. But anyway, takes down two guys here with the ACWR approaching the bank here on bank job. Takes down two guys, he goes inside, takes down a further one guy before seeing a guy running around the corner there. Just gonna get a reload in before he comes running around, taking him down. And it's the start of the round, so of course, everyone is gonna be in this one area when they're playing some heist here. And they've all bunched up, and he runs up behind them. They're actually quite aware of watching their back, but he kills them all so quickly, there's nothing really much they can do, and this guy just gets destroyed. And I didn't even know there was another guy in the room when he got in there, but he turns around and just beats him to death with a knife as well, before moving back towards the main sort of area here, taking down one more guy to round off a very nice streak. Our next clip up today here comes from Normella1, and he's playing him some bank job on Battlefield with Hardline. Up on top of the roof, he is equipped with a Scout Elite Sniper Rifle, and he gets himself a collateral there, with those guys just sitting in the corner. And it's as easy a collateral as you're gonna see, but he takes out another guy there through the door, I think, and this guy just very, very slowly edges his way out to certain death. Moving around the other side, he spots a guy up on top, takes his head off in one shot, and he's gonna turn his attention towards some more people that are running up to the top floor of the opposing car park. Tried for a cheeky shot there in the laser mine, didn't quite pull it off, but he's gonna go looking around his right hand side, and he's gonna get himself his second collateral of the clip. Which you don't see very often. In fact, collaterals aren't something that happen all the time on Battlefield, but they get two in such quick succession, it's pretty nice. And of course, on top of that, he gets himself a nice few kills here and there with some nice accuracy. This guy gets absolutely obliterated as he walks around the corner. Everyone seemed to just know he was coming round. So yeah, two collaterals in a row as well as some nice little shots here and there. Nice clip, good sir. Let's move on. Next up today here, we have Crumbly Muffin. That's a nice name. That's a good one. Not none of your random letter bullshit. Keeps it simple, and everyone loves muffins, so that's good. But already in the clip, he's killed one guy using the UMP45 on Valparaiso Bad Company 2, and he's just gonna go around this left-hand side here, and there's a whole bunch of enemy players all camping on this little ditch here, uh, because it, it provides very good cover. You can't actually flank around here properly because the, the map ends right behind where he's standing. But these guys just don't expect them to just squeeze around behind the rock on the outer flank and just come up behind them and murder them all. So after effectively killing half the enemy team, he gets an arms at MCOM station, taking down another two people using the UMP-45. He's able to keep up the defense on his MCOM station and take down one more guy as he's trying to flank around behind them. Now, I've not actually seen many bad Company 2 clips on the top place since I restarted the series incorporating every Battlefield game so far, so can I just make a plea just here? If you guys play Bad Company 2, any of you guys out there, record some Bad Company 2. I'd like some more clips. Do some awesome shit on there. Send it my way. And our final clip this week comes from Nova Vengeance playing on the block on Battlefield Hardline, using a Mac 10 and a Golden Scout Elite. And I see why this guy has a Golden Scout Elite, he is good at popping melons very, very quickly. Of course, he's part of the Nova clan, so who in that clan isn't good at this? I don't know, it seems to be the thing. Moves around the right hand side of this fan, this guy's just chilling by himself, he kind of rushes himself a bit too quickly. But uh, he manages to take the guy down as well as a second, then a third guy, and then a fourth guy, just like that. I mean, once he gets in a groove, he starts popping everyone, takes down another three people, he then moves up and starts shitting on some more people too. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Battlefield Top Plays. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below to help support the show. And I do want to say, I do apologize for the little wait that there was for this episode. I've not had a video up in a week. I aim to get quite a few done this week, guys, so look out for those. I'll have those ready for you, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.